I will show you how to get free price data from MetaTrader. This is the first important step you need to take in order to perform good backtests. And I would bet that 90% of all traders do this incorrectly or they don't do it at all. Okay, so this is our MetaTrader platform. And if we open a chart, we see that we already have historical data for that symbol. This data is provided to us by our broker. And depending on the broker you are using, you will get more or less historical data. However, we cannot use this data for backtests. And there are two reasons for this. First, the data usually does not go back far enough. And second, the data is usually of poor quality. Okay, so to test strategies properly, we need at least 10 years of one minute data. I will now show you how to get them for free and how to insert the data into MetaTrader. We will use Tucascopy as our data source. Tucascopy is a Swiss broker which offers Forex data in good quality for free. And to download this data, I use the tool TickStory. This is also free and can be downloaded from this website. Okay, and this is what TickStory looks like. And as you can see, the data provider is Tucascopy. Since we want to download data for Euro dollar, we navigate to the Forex folder and look for our symbol. Good, now we right click on the symbol, go to export to MT5 and click on bars. Here we can now make some adjustments for our data, the start and end time. For this video, I will only download the last year. Then the time frame, one minute. And here, very important, the time zone. I always choose the New York time zone. This arranges the price data so that there are no Sunday bars. We can set the actual time zone of your broker later. So that's all the settings. Now we simply press OK and the download will start. Okay, while TickStory is downloading the data, we can already switch to MetaTrader because to insert the data into MetaTrader, we will create a custom symbol. And to do this, we just click on view, top left corner and on symbols. And here we can see all the symbols that are available to us from our broker. And to create a custom symbol, we just press the create custom symbol button. Now, very important, we import all symbol information from the corresponding standard symbol. So we just select our symbol, in our case, Euro, US dollar. Yeah. And now we can see all the symbol information is listed. Now we have to change the name. Maybe we add underscore edit. And press OK. Okay, now we can insert the data into our symbol in the folder custom and forex. We select our symbol here and switch to the tab bars. Here we click on import bars. And now it's important that we select the correct time zone. The price data should have the same time as the price data from our broker. We have downloaded the data so that there is no Sunday bar. But if your broker has a two hour candlestick every Sunday, you should enter minus two. Since my broker doesn't have a Sunday candle, I leave it at zero. Okay, now we just select our file and make sure the download is complete. We select the file and press OK. OK, so the data is now imported, but we are not quite finished yet. The data must be checked. This is very important. If we have incorrect data, our backtests are useless. I will show you how to do this in the next part, but we can already have a look at our custom symbol in the chart. Just select the symbol. So the icon is golden and now we can just close this and open a new chart. And here we have it, our custom symbol with the data from Dukas copy. Beautiful. Okay, we will continue in the next part.